Now, Koreans, at least uh, some of them, have been heading to the polls on this Friday as an early voting system that does not require prior registration has begun for the first time in Korea's local election history. The new system has been adopted to help voters unable to uh, cast their ballots next Wednesday, which is the actual election day. Arirang News political correspondent Ji myung -gil has the first day of the two-day run. For the first time in Korea's local election history, a two-day long early voting period started this Friday. Without prior registration, voters can cast their ballots from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Korea time, if they are unable to make it on election day, June 4th. I won't be able to vote on the actual day of the election, so I think this early voting system is very convenient. Voters are only required to show their resident registration card to cast their ballot at any of the more than 3,500 polling stations set up across the nation. Electronic devices located in every polling booth recognize the barcode on the ID cards and take the fingerprints of voters. For added convenience, smartphone users can download an application that provides information on the locations of nationwide polling stations and the list of candidates in the local elections. I think the early voting system is great for busy people as it does not require prior registration and you can vote as soon as you arrive without having to wait in a queue. Officials from Korea's National Election Commission have been dispatched to each polling station to manage and monitor the voting process. And for both days, the commission will release voter numbers and the turnouts for each province, city and district. Through the early voting system, Korea's National Election Commission expects the voter turnouts to be higher this time than the previous local election in 2010. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.